how to play while my guitar gently weeps and make it sound real. Now there are two different styles that you can use to play this song. One is if you are in a band like the Beatles and you are playing along with them as you do or uh, as a solo performer uh, George Harrison would typically use his acoustic guitar and play it in a completely different way but of course you'll still recognise the song and it's that approach that we're going to take in this lesson. Let's make a start. <laughs> Now the first thing you might notice is the angle that I have the ukulele at for the shot because while you can't see my uh, chord shapes too clearly the chord windows are showing you that but it's very important for you to be able to see how I'm combining rhythm and picking with my right hand. Now when it comes to the chords themselves um, most of these chords are shown in chord sheets but they don't get them quite right and I've sort of improvised. Now it starts off in that A minor and there's a lot of uh, let's say downward progression on the low G string it's sort of weepy I suppose and uh, you go from A minor and then you move down to the A minor 7th and then all of a sudden you run out of frets so you can't go any lower. So what do I do? I bring an A minor shape up to the 11th fret and I start that downward trend again. The next uh, chord is F major 7th and the fret 5 version gives me the right uh, movement in the direction, as I said, of coming down that low G string to get that weepy feel. Now do you hear that uh, D, uh, D sus4 uh, chord progression I'm using at the end of the first section there? So that's a sort of a representation of that guitar lick that's done on the record. And anybody who's familiar with the song will know what you're at. Now the second half of the verse is identical to the first, with the exception that it ends in a C major and an E seventh, which sets us up for the chorus. Now notice when I'm in the zone I actually try to slide along that low G string when I move from C sharp minor to F sharp minor and later from C sharp minor to B minor and it really adds that sort of weepy feel to the whole thing. Now, of course, the chorus line uh, is repeated twice in each chorus. And at the end of the line, I do a little chord progression there on E7, three different shapes that set us up quite nicely for going back into the second line of the chorus or to begin the next verse. Now also check out in the description below 
what additional material I have up on Patreon because I will have some practice aids and a lyric sheet and stuff up there so do check that out and of course for the price of uh, uh, one month's membership only you can get access to that and and use it uh, um, as you wish so uh, that's all really I can say at this point in time so uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh, the song and the best of luck with it my name is Greg this is the Low G U channel see you again soon Thank you.